touching down at the Paris Air Show at Le Bourget, the first ever transatlantic flight powered partially by biofuel. Operated by Honeywell, the Gulfstream jet made the seven-hour trip on a 50-50 blend of so-called green jet fuel and petrol-based fuel. According to the company, the flight saved around 5.5 metric tons of carbon dioxide. The plane itself underwent no special modifications. And pilot Ron Wade said it was just like any other flight. Absolutely no noticeable difference at all. There's no difference. Uh, you know, all the engine uh, measurements that, uh, that we have that, you know, uh, measure the thrust uh, output from the engine uh, were identical. There's no, no difference, no changes. Biofuels have attracted criticism from environmentalists who say they compete with crops needed for food. But Honeywell says their biofuel comes from a plant called Camelina, which grows in rotation with wheat and on marginal land. At the moment, though, it's not cost effective. I think long term the economics will drive it because I think long term as the price of oil goes above $100 a barrel to $150 a barrel, the economics of using biojet will be more compelling and that will drive the market to produce more biojet and become much more competitive. Now right now the fuel today was much, much, much more expensive that we use than conventional kerosene, but long term uh, it could be quite a bit less expensive than kerosene if oil goes well above $100 a barrel. Aviation accounts for 3% of carbon emissions a year, but it's estimated that by 2020, planes will be the single biggest contributor to global warming.